Okay, welcome back everyone. We've got this worked example here that says a satellite has a mass of 5,000 kilograms and takes 12 hours to orbit the Earth at an average distance of 9,500 kilometers. In this case, I'm going to assume that that 9,500 kilometers includes the radius of the Earth. Part A asks us to find the average speed of the satellite. So the first thing I do is I look down to my formula book and I notice that we've already got a formula given to us. V equals 2 pi r on t. Now, we're trying to find the average speed, which is denoted by the V here. But we need to know the radius of the orbit, or the radius, I should say, of the circle. And the period, okay, the time it takes to go around that circle. So, r is equal to 9,500 kilometers. The reason we're taking our time with this and writing this out this way is we need to be able to convert this into SI units. So 9,500 kilometers is 9,000 times 10 to the 3 meters. Our period is given as 12 hours. Again, we need to convert that into SI units. We have 12 times 60 times 60 seconds. Okay, our next step is to insert those values. So we have V equals 2 pi times 9,500 by 10 to the 3. And that is all over 12 times 60 times 60. Once I throw this in my calculator, I'll get an answer for V. 2 pi times 9,500 times 10 to the power of 3. Divided by 12 by 60 by 60. And we get a velocity of, or a speed I should say, of 1,381.7 meters per second. Part B asks us now to find the centripetal acceleration. Again, I look to my formula sheet and I find that we are given AC, okay, or the centripetal acceleration is equal to V squared on R. And we know V is 1381.7 meters per second. And we know R is equal to 9,500 times 10 to the 3 meters. Again, we simply substitute and put it in our calculator. In this case, when I enter it in my calculator, I'm going to use the value that's already stored for our velocity. Okay, and that should help eliminate any rounding errors. So answer squared divided by 9,500 times 10 to the power of 3. And we get a centripetal acceleration of 0 0.2 meters per second squared. Part C asks us to find the centripetal force acting on the satellite. Now, if we didn't go through all of this scaffolding, we could go to our formula book and use this formula. Okay, but we remember we can recall from unit one and unit two that our force or our net force is always going to be equal to our mass times our acceleration. And we've just found the acceleration. So to simplify this process, I'm going to say that F is equal to MA. Our mass is equal to 5,000 kilograms. Okay, and again, I got that from our question. And our acceleration is 0 0.2 meters per second squared. Again, to avoid any uh, rounding errors, I'm going to use the number that's already stored in our calculator. So F equals 5,000 times 0 0.2 meters per second squared. So our force centripetal is equal to answer times 5,000 1,004.8 newtons.